Smart AI usage isn't necessarily about having the right prompt or the perfect setup or the right context even. Sometimes it's just down to choosing the right tool for the job. Here on the channel, we've talked a lot about GPTs and Gemini Gems. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Claude Projects and why Claude and Claude Projects are absolutely the go-to tool for me when I want writing in my business. So if you're like, hey, I want a specialized area or tool to write email, to write landing page copy, to write long form blog content, to write product announcements, Claude is gonna be your tool and I'm gonna walk you through exactly the process I used just this week to create a specialized Claude project for me to update SEO optimized blog posts on my website. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt, welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Let's dive into Claude and Claude projects. I'm gonna walk you through exactly the steps I did to build this project, seed it with the right information, examples, case studies, and instructions so that I'm getting phenomenal results from this project. Okay, here at Claude.ai, go to the projects area on the left. And you see, I have a bunch of projects here. Claude is kind of my go-to for anything writing and anything coding these days. You'll hear a lot of developers talk about Claude code. That's a whole different thing, but Claude is a really great tool for writer. You see, I have, uh, I have projects in here for writing emails. I have them for creating LinkedIn content, even creating some of these YouTube scripts. Yeah, I use AI for my YouTube about AI. It's kind of meta, but it works really well and the results speak for themselves. But the one specifically we're gonna be talking about today is from my business at Casta. So Castos, we're a podcast hosting company. I'll just pull it up real quick so you can see it. So Castos, podcast hosting company. If you have a podcast or you wanna have a podcast, check it out, it's amazing. I digress. Uh, but we've done a lot of content marketing and SEO over the years at Castos and where previously I would have hired a person to come in and update some of our older blog posts that need a little refreshing. Now I'm thinking, hey, how can I hire AI to do this for me? And Claude is the tool. And so I've created a project around this. And there's a couple of elements to a project. Uh, the first is it has a title and a description. And so you can just give it or update the title and description here. Neither of these really do anything, but just if you have a lot of them, it might be helpful. Then it has what I would call a system prompt. And this is a prompt and information that the project will use every time you come in and run a chat here. So as opposed to a GPT or a Gemini Gem, a Claude project is kind of a framework with a set of instructions and context that you then can come in and run any prompt you want. To me, a GPT or a Gemini Gem has a single defined purpose, and I come and I do that thing over and over and over. A Claude project, differently, is a place where I have a system prompt maybe, and I have context and examples and a ton of background information, and I can come in and do several things in here, okay? Uh, and so what I've done is I've created this prompt right here. And I'll share this prompt. There'll be a link in the description below where you can drop your email in and I'll send you this prompt. Um, I generated this prompt in Claude itself. And so I had a very long Claude deep research conversation that I then paired with the exact same conversation in Manus. So if you haven't used it before, Manus is an agentic AI platform. And so I'll just show you what I did here. Let's pull up another Claude tab. And let's find our chats. Do, 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 do. Cool, okay, so here's the chat I had, and this is the prompt I had. So you are a pro at setting up Claude projects to get the most out of their functionality. This is optimizing workflows and LMs. Task is to create source files and systems prompts for a Claude project that will be used to optimize and update existing blog posts for the Castos website. Use best practices in terms of on-page SEO, copy, conversion copywriting and content editing. Uh, keep in mind things like primary and secondary keywords, blah, 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 right? This has four of the six points of a good prompt. So it has role, it has task, it has format, it has context. It doesn't have examples or constraints, which are the other two. Uh, I talk about this in a YouTube video. I'll link in the description below. Six elements to a really good prompt. Uh, and I turned on both uh, deep thinking and research. And so you see it went away for eight minutes and it came back with this. Big old huge document. Uh, and this is largely the information that I use to create the system prompt and the seed knowledge. I also did the same thing in Manus. And 
I had this conversation with the exact same prompt. Manus went away and did its thing. And it, you know, Manus is more of an agent, uh, an agentic AI platform. I call this LLM stacking. So I run the same prompt in several different systems, get this information and put it into one place. When I'm putting it into one place, I typically use Manus because it just has the ability to consider more information. So I think if you were to put all of this into a system that can't consider as much information at once, it probably would would just not result as well. Um, but but I gave it the same results that Gemini gave me from the same prompt, and I gave it the information that Claude gave me, and then uh, Manus came back with all of these assets and an implementation guide to create the project. And so go create a new project, have these template files or example files for the knowledge base, and the system prompt is here. So I copied this entire thing, as well as I downloaded each of these files onto my computer in, I think, Markdown or PDF, and upload in PDF and upload them over here. So this system prompt you see right here is exactly the result that Manus gave me. And again, Manus is just the aggregation of the results of Claude creating this project uh, requirements doc for me, uh, Gemini doing the same thing and Manus doing it. And then I stuck all of those into Manus and said, hey, consider this data point, this data point and your own, smush it together and give me the best version of each of these. And so that's what I have here. So here we have a really thorough system prompt. We additionally have research that Manus did uh, about kind of who Castus is, a checklist of how it should go about creating content, a uh, supporting docs about how to do SEO on both on-page and off-page, and um, how to optimize blog posts for readability and conversion. Okay, I then went and downloaded all of the contents from the Castos blog. So we have like 500 pages on the Castos website. We've done a lot of content marketing over the years. I downloaded all those, extracted out just the important bits, which is like removing all the tags and the meta and all this kind of stuff. And we have just the contents of the site. I don't think I can open a text file here. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so it has things like the title, it has the slug, and it has the contents, and it has the meta description if it exists. So this is all of the content for the entire site. So now what I'm able to do, so now what I'm able to do is come in and use a pretty straightforward prompt like this, just where I'm feeding it the exact information that I want to feed it, and it will update the blog post. So I did this. And this is the result that it gave me. So we had this blog post about uh, creating podcast scripts, and this is the updated blog post that it gave me. And so you can see this follows a lot of really great best practices about formatting and tone and layout, H1s, H2s. All of this is optimized both for SEO and readability. And so I can just take and copy this, go back to the Castos website, update it, and uh, I'll have in a couple of minutes an updated blog post piece of content that ranks hopefully better in both Google and in LLMs so my brand can get uh, found by people who are searching for this topic that is relevant to RICP, okay? So this is a walkthrough of Claude projects. This is also why and where you would use Claude projects as opposed to a GPT from ChatGPT or a Gemini Gem. I think they all absolutely have their place. I'm liking Gemini more and more these days for certain things, but when it comes to writing content of any kind, email, YouTube scripts, social posts, long form content, Claude is your tool. So a big part of AI usage and winning with AI is knowing how to use it, but also using the right tool for the job. In this case, Claude is the winner. And so if you're watching this and you're like, wow, Craig, cool, that's really great. I wanna learn more about how to do these kinds of things. I wanna go from AI newbie, AI curious, to an advanced power user. And I want to be that AI forward leader in my business and in my life. I've put together a free 30-day email course. I'll email you every day with a tidbit like this to help you on that journey to becoming an AI leader. Link is in the description below. It's called the AI Accelerator. I'll send you an email every day for 30 days, and I truly hope you enjoy it. If you're enjoying this video, check out this video right over here where I walk through Claude projects versus Gemini gems versus ChatGPT, when and how to use each of them.